I don't normally do uh, tutorials or things like this, but I'm so enamored with this new version of Logic. Um, Apple just released Logic Pro 11 with some really cool new tools. Um, I switched to Logic probably about 10 or 11 years ago, mostly because of this one feature called Drummer, um, which is really cool. And what they released today builds on the legacy of Drummer in a really amazing way. Um, so this is gonna completely change how I do song a day going forward. Um, for context, today uh, is my 5,612th day of writing a song. The way the drummer works, the way drummer has always worked, you choose a few simple parameters and it makes a drummer for you. And I've gotten really good over the years at making it sound the way that I want. Um, so like for instance, if, we, if one were to just take this uh, in its original form, it would sound like this. Which is fine, but, uh, but, you know, over the years I figured out how, like, you can tweak every little thing. You can go in here and do lots of stuff. I, I mostly do a lot of panning. I take out some things. Anyway, I'm not gonna do a full tutor tutorial of how to do that. But then I make it sound, you know, the way that I want for this particular song. What they have added now, and this is all what they're calling AI, I don't know how AI it is or not, but what they added is now you have a bass player. It's so good. <laughs> And again, you can go in here and you can do lots of different things. You want more notes, you want less notes, how many octaves do you want? And so then basically you put the chords in up here, you tell it what chords are happening, C, F, G, C, C, F, G, you know? And I've played the chords on my little uh, ukulele thing or guitar ukulele. So I got that going, I got the drums going. That's easy enough, you know? And now, like just now, I just downloaded this program an hour ago, and I got the I got the bass going. And in each region, you can change little things. Like so, for instance, then we get to the chorus bit or the sort of this little chorusy bit here, and I want longer notes there. So I was able to go down here and say short, medium, long. You know, in the verses, we got punchy short uh, sounds. Oops, that's on medium, that should be short. So it's like. And then it gets longer. It's really great. <laughs> it just like immediately does things. Now, you know, you'd never replace a real bassist with this. You never, you know, you wouldn't want to do this on like an album, say, but if you're making a song in just a day, the way that I do every day, you know, it's perfect um, for those purposes. Um, you have all kinds of things like down here, you can, how many dead notes you want, how much sliding do you want, do you want slapping, the complexity, if you look at the, this is the same as with the drummer, but like if you look at this and you just up the complexity, you know, suddenly there's a lot more notes happening if you down the complexity. It's just great. And then not only that, but they also, Freaking added like a keyboard player thing. Which I don't feel like is like quite as just like instant plug and play. Like I, th I feel like there's gonna be a lot of going forward, I'm gonna have to mess with it a lot more to get it to do what I want. But again, you know, uh, there's so many choices. What is the left hand doing? You know, what is the right hand doing? Uh, you know, I definitely don't want it just like following full chords, right? Because that would sound. Well, maybe I do. <laughs> that's, that's nice. Oh my God, I didn't think I wanted that. And then again, on the chorus part. Oh my God, it's so great. So one thing that I realized up here that I didn't really know about, you have to right click at this, the chord bit isn't there automatically. Um, and so you have to right click up here and tell it chords. And then putting your chords in is super easy. 
Um, and then all together. No. Tuck me into that fabric of space time and let me go faster than the speed of light. I can't stand to let them go, maybe the galaxy. See, then I just had it do like a eighth note thing. Silent night, faster than the speed of light. And oh, we are here arguing. Maybe actually, maybe we want the keyboards to be doing something a little bit different there. Like maybe we want and oh, instead of it to be going long like everything else, we want it to be doing more shit. And oh, we are here arguing. Fighting, dying, and killing when there are galaxies yeah. in you and me. <laughs> That's cool. And oh, tuck me into that fabric of space time and let me go faster at the speed of light so I can let go. Yeah. They also have a bunch of really good new piano sounds um, added. Grandma's piano. I don't know really what any of these are yet. No. No. Maybe. I would think that something like Grandma's piano would be what I want, but. It took, you know, it took a long time to like fully learn how to do, how to make drummer do exactly what I wanted to do. Like the kind of things that I'm doing here are like, I'm adding a micro shift to one of the snares and panning the snares back and forth so they're like a little bit off from each other. Um, which gives it, you know, it just gives it some, some character and some flavor. I do the same thing with the kick. Anyway, and the, you know, it's very dry. Like you, ha you can add that stuff, but who wants that? You don't want that. Fighting, so. dying, and killing. Anyway, Logic Pro 11. I'm pretty, uh, I'm pretty into it.